let's see the, this ex exercise. So we, if you recall, we have the number guessing game that was in the earlier chapter, where the script was thinking about a number between 1 and 200, and then uh, the user could guess once. So there are a couple of parts of this, this exercise. We have to add all kinds of parts. The first thing is that we would want to let the user guess several times and give responses several times and guess responses several times and, and until it fi he finds the, the hidden number. So let's switch to the editor, the, the screen. If you run the script now, you can guess, let's say, uh, type in 45 and it, it says too small and uh, that's it. So, number guessing. So this is the script that we had. We have the number here. In this int run, this will generate the hidden number. And then if the, you do, it will be asked, the user will be asked for some number and then we check whether it's too small, too big, or the right number. So we would like to do it several times, and we don't know how many times, so therefore it's usually um, good to use an, uh, an uh, infinite loop. So that's what we are going to do. We put in a while loop here, while, and I just say while true. So I don't care how many times it's going to happen. It will, it's, it's an infinite loop and I moved all everything indented and uh, so far so good so now I can start guessing and keep guessing but it will never stop so here I can do I can do two things either I can compare so I can either put the in the while loop comparing the hidden number to the guess and if the guess is correct then stop the loop but that means that we already have to have a guess when the first time we encounter the while loop. We could turn it around with a do while loop if you really want, but it's very it's rarely used, I think. Probably the nicest thing here, nicest way is to put an infinite loop as we did, and then here when the user actually guessed correctly, then after printing out that he found it, just call last. And this will tell that, okay, this was the last iteration of this loop. Go out now, quit quit the loop, and go on, execute the code from here on, which is in our case empty. So let's see how it works. And uh, we can run the script. And then probably the best way is to guess 100. It's too small. So I guess now 150. It's still too small, 175. It's still too small, so 100, I don't know what is the middle there, 187 maybe, it's too big, so 180, it's too big, so 173, too small, 174, too small, 175, 176, and that's it, that was probably the number. Hopefully that it didn't cheat. So you see that I could play, and then when it found it, the right number, then it will quit, quit the application. So that's the first thing that we had to do, and then later on we'll see how to add the additional features to the script.